everybody welcome back to another episode of this uh silly little mustang project um so last time we cut the roof off the 65 mustang and the roof off the 2013 mustang and combine these so as you guys can see now those lines lined up pretty well i'm really really happy with the way all the lines here you know for the door gap and the top of the door for on the new mustang um i've also went and got the back all cleaned up pretty close i've still got a little bit of work to do there but you can see i've got blended in back into the quarter panels and stuff like that so what we're going to do today um we're going to work on the hood so we're going to take the 64 mustang hood throw that out the door and modify the stock hood to fit onto here um, basically what i'm going to end up doing are putting these two on top of each other tracing them out and cutting it off um, so i will be right back all right guys so i got those cut off here's the side pieces that uh i ended up cutting off the sides of the stock hood so like i said um i did it from the back side just lined up the hoods as closely as i possibly could and then just cut down the back of the hood and just kind of broke them off did some light sanding so this is what i'm thinking Still got a little bit of work, as you can see here. But if we line this up here, you can see I've got to add just a little bit of the old hood because I still want this to open and close. Um, you can kind of see the new look for the front nose. Squeaky. So it just kind of brings that out just a little bit further than what the stock hood does the stock hood fits kind of nice and flush as you guys know to that and the new hood just adds a little bit more bringing that out um, so what we can do is let's get this kind of taped down exactly where it needs to go So the other thing I kind of like about the new Mustang hood, why I'm trying to get this to fit onto the old one, um, you can see here from the headlight bucket to where it rolls up the hood is actually pretty nice. I really like that detail compared to the stock hood that's kind of straight across. Um, I'm just going to kind of take a rough measurement here. Let's see, I think, this roll of tape fits perfectly in there. So I need to cut, oh, about that much off the back of the old hood. So let's go ahead and do that if I can find the end of this. Well, I'm trying to find the end of this tape. I want to do some wheel flares on this Mustang. Um, if you guys have handmade some flares or you know of any aftermarket flares that are out there for the new Mustangs or even the old Mustangs, um, let me know guys. Um, I've been kind of scratching my head and trying to figure out um, what I can use. I've seen a couple different things out there people using bottles and stuff like that so or if you've got a set sitting at home you'd like to donate i'd be free and happy to take them all right so looking at this looks like what i'm gonna end up doing on <clears throat> show you guys here 
you can see I'm about the thickness of where this is so I think I'm just going to trim right against this line all the way across um, see if I can get in there so you can see this line right where my nail's sitting sorry for my filthy hands I've been working on a car all day today so that's where I'm going to cut See if we can break this off real carefully. All right, so there we go, guys. We've got that little tiny bit that we need. Um, I've already kind of sanded this gap to match the back of the hood here. So as you can see, I've got the gap here already really close. So all I'm going to have to do is... glue this piece onto here. So I'm gonna get that glued and then I will be right back. All right guys, well, here she is in all its glory. Um, it's pretty rough, um, but uh, you can kind of get the general idea. What we had to do, um, there's kind of the look of the new nose. Kinda, because I say that, because we're going to be doing some more mods to the front nose of this uh, Mustang. So, um, I want to thank you guys again for uh, tuning into this video. Also, send out a uh, reminder to you guys that every single Sunday, I do a live feed on my channel. Um, guys are new to the kind of new series and the the new year um what we're working on is a 1950 Oldsmobile um for customization from Mustang to the Oldsmobile there's going to be a lot of similarities I will give you that um Mustang's getting a full frame Oldsmobile's getting a full frame so be kind of interesting but make sure you guys tune into that um but until next time guys this is Dragon Speed Shop. I'm out of here.